Hey everybody, how, how's everyone doing? I hope everyone is doing great this morning. Um, my last week's surgery went well. She's having her second surgery today. So um, keep on the prayers. I am grateful for all the message. Um, thanks again for all the calls. Um, once again, I wanted to, to basically do a brief um, overall about time management and break it down so um, you guys see where I'm coming from because I do believe not all of you guys I um, believe that's um, something we should work on but I do believe it helps because um, it gives you time to take care of yourself to manage yourself and prioritize yourself so um, time management like I said can um, is actually overall over 20 skills to have to actually be able to do that it's on a way for you to know how to set what to do first what to do next what to do later and what is it that you don't have to do that could stay after meaning you're able to prioritize you're able to have a timeline so the breakdown to time management it's um, a clear sense of direction um, the um, a, pro a progress who's who never stop so basically the progression is always going it's um it's always um, continuing and also we always need to improve a result if you try something for over um, 20 times each result should be the second result should be better than the first the last result should be greater than the first so um, <clears throat> we need to think of this thing and we need to always increase the status of everything it doesn't matter what it is today should be better than yesterday and tomorrow should be better than today and we should find what motivate us it could be something we do it could be somebody we should find that motivation until you find it do not stop keep looking for that motivation that passion in you something you're passionate about and stick to it um make it great you know it will give you the zest of your life like it will give you that little um zest you've been looking for and also advancement it's never bad to advance it's never uh, um, you never too great. We always learning. We always need to learn something. We can always be better. There's always room for improvement. So we need to always make sure that we're not going step. We're not stepping backward. That we're always going forward, and we always need to enhance our creativity. We, um, if you used to, to like, to the movies, you know, like little things simple thing going for a walk going out to eat and drink do something different go walk on the beach at night time sit down on the beach at night time it feels great um a long walk early morning it makes you feel lighter um go golfing try ice skating always try new things you know be creative the everything that is here it's here for you to try to make memories to make moments to create uh, um a lifetime of journey you know don't 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 settle don't uh, um feel comfortable because when when we get comfortable um it, it gets boring when it gets boring you know we have time to think about the negativity don't don't do that you know set up a to-do list M make task tackle them down uh, um don't set up a to-do list or a task and then you don't get it done don't do that keep it up um always make sure you 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 meet them um you meet your needs always do that don't leave what's what's priority to you because you feel like a friend a sister or your boyfriend your girlfriend your husband wh whoever your sibling needs you more no always put your first self that's not being selfish it's prioritizing it's your need never put yourself uh, um, after okay remember you matter if you don't take care of yourself who going to take care of you you need to prioritize yourself and there is a lot of question you can ask yourself 
find out, ask yourself this question. Who am I? Who do I want to be? Where I've come from, where do I want to go? What am I doing wrong? What am I supposed to be doing? All this question, how should I do it? How do how I've been doing it? Ask yourself those questions, answer them until you can find an answer. Keep looking, keep searching, keep doing, you know, your your, your soul searching. It's it's great to to be organized. It's great to um to have a great economy, to contribute to 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 every little part of your life. Because if you don't do that, no one will do it for you. You know, um, priori- priority prioritizing yourself, having priority in your life, doesn't mean you're selfish. It doesn't mean that um, you don't acknowledge other people in your life. It's not that at all. It just um, gives you a chance to have a timeline, to have, to know what's most important to you, not to others. Don't put others' need above yours. It could be anyone. Do not, don't ever do that. If you neglect yourself, you're going to be unhappy. You're going to start neglecting others. Don't do that. And if you allow, uh, if you if you neglect yourself, you're going to allow other people to neglect you as well. So it's going to become a pattern and it's going to become a bad habit that you're creating for the other person you're in a relationship with. And sometimes we don't want to create the monster, but we don't realize it. And when it comes too much, it's overbearing. We lash out. We blame the person. We don't take full responsibility for us being the person who create that monster. You know, always remember that. Always remember to set goal, no matter if it's a relationship, at work, um, personal, or um, it could be what you want to do in life. Always set a goal. Um, prioritize them. Always stay aware. Self-awareness is um, one of the best skills we should have. Self-motivation. We need to learn how to motivate our own self. We need to stay focused. Great focus. Keep us going to the in the right direction. Decision making. We need to learn how to make decisions. Know how to make uh, decisions based on based on a timeline. You know, planning. How to plan um, can be very difficult, but you know. If you get your priorities straight and you have a timeline, you set a routine, you stick to it, you learn how to deal with it, all these other things will be easy. It will be easy for you to plan anything and to tackle it, to actually be successful um, towards that thing. Communication skill, it's a must. It doesn't matter what type of relationship it is. It could be a friendship. It could be a between siblings. You have to have that skill. It's important. You need to learn to communicate. You need to learn to to make people understand where you're coming from. You need to learn how to sit down, be quiet, and listen. Be a good listener. Ask questions. Don't be challenging all the time. The only person you should challenge is yourself. Don't be a challenge for others. Only challenge your own self. Do not Put people in a position where they feel like you are challenging them. Uh, dedicate dedicate yourself to to your uh, um, to better yourself. You know, don't try to fix someone else because you might be the one that needs fixing. But instead, you're trying to fix someone else. You're making more damages. There's need to be made and. After that, you don't take responsibility, you blame that other person. But no, um, you need to learn how to fall back sometime. Let someone breathe. Let someone realize. And sometimes, if you realize it is very hard, take time away from that relationship. Let that person breathe. You need a breather as well. Focus on yourself. Don't question the abil- that other person's ability. Question your own ability. See what's your fault. Um, acknowledge it. You know, take responsibility. It is the best way to manage stress. You know, when you don't take responsibility for your own action, everything you do, negative or positive, there is um, responsibility out of it. So, and also stop having regrets the stuff that you did at the time you did it you actually wanted to do it 
Do not regret what you did. Learn from it. Take the positive out of it. Do it all over again. And if you take what you're supposed to take out of it and learn from it, it will get better. It would, you know, you will be more effective. Record. Keep recording until you are aware of what's going on. Keep records of your own self, of your own pattern, of your own routine, of your own habits. Then you will know what's wrong. You will see what's wrong. You'll be able to fix it. If you are aware of it, you keep records of it, you'll see it. The more you repeat it, the more you see it, the more you will know how to fix it. So be very organized. Be very um, fulfilling towards everything you're doing. And be patient. Have patience with others. Have patience with yourself. Patient is the key to forgive, to understand, to love, to have a better communication. It's everything. Be patient with yourself. Be patient with others. Take time. Everything take time. Nothing happened overnight. Everything is a process. You need to learn everything needed. We need to have lack of direction, lack of time. You can have lack of time in that direction. We need both to be able to know how to manage, how to prioritize. But please have patience with yourself, with others. That is the best skill we can have. If you're patient, you will understand. Your communication skill will be great. You will, you will have this sense of understanding. You will know when to be quiet and listen. It will teach you how to be a great listener. And another thing also, it will make you have the ability to forgive and let go. And when we learn how to forgive people and ourselves and others, what happens is this, we let go of the past. We stop leaving in the past. We stop dragging and holding on to all the baggages that make us so angry, so bitter, that um, turn the, the life out of us, that remove um, our soul, that block our heart from seeing the beauty in everyone and everything. It stops us from seeing that other people could be broken need help, just need a friend, just need a hug, but instead we're here judging. It is not our place to judge. We're not here for that. We need to stop judging, be very understanding, be very forgiving, be very open to others. It is okay to make mistakes. There's nothing wrong about it. There's nothing wrong. It's okay. But for you to know it's okay, you need to also know who you are. It's going to take time. It took me five years for me to get where I am today. And I'm still, I'm still learning. I'm still in the progress. But it feels so good to be at peace. It feels so good to let go of the past. It feels so good to, to put that weight down, not to have to drag it, hold on to it of all the bitter things. So it is easier for me to wake up in the morning think about myself it is easier for me to take care of myself it is easier for me to believe in myself it is easier for me to know that i am beautiful i am a wonderful person i am a great person somebody could count on me i can listen to someone without judging i can have a better understanding my communication skill is better i'm able to reach out to someone and listen and hear them out and be that ear they need. There's nothing wrong with that. You could be that. So please, think about it. Let's go. Today I broke down the whole time management system. Think about it. Let's talk about it. We can do it. We are great. We are human. We are here to learn. We're going to learn. We're going to go through the process. We're going to better ourselves. We're going to be great. So. I bring you this video this week. Stay tuned for next week. I will give you an update with my mom as well. I had a great weekend. My week is going great. I hope you guys as well. I'm going to leave you with love, patience, and understanding. Focus on you. Prioritize. Love you guys. It, it's, I, I really love all the support that I'm getting. Please let people know about this so we can have a bigger um, communication, you know. Um, thank you again for all the support.